So the story is all about um, me and my friend Simon, who climb um, mountains in the Alps. Um, it's very treacherous, but it was an adventure. Um, and it's been made into this film. Okay. Um, so do you mind if I ask you a few questions about your experience? Would that be okay? Yeah, it'd be fine. Um, how did you feel um, at the start of the uh, journey, start of your adventure, um, when you were heading off into the mountains? Well, I thought it would be an amazing adventure and that it would be a really great um, time. So, yeah, that's what we said. We set off and it was great. What were you hoping to achieve? What was your kind of, um, your aim for the, for well, the trip? we did kind of... Um, achieve to touch the void um, but then it all went wrong and then we had to kind of aim for surviving right? so what exactly happened what was the what happened on your descent from the mountain well um, we were climbing down on um, the mountain face when all of a sudden I slipped and fell and broke my leg. So, um, Simon came rushing down and saw what had happened. So, he tried to get me back to the bottom. And, um, as he was lowering me down, it was getting, it was hurting much, much more. And he was just sat there, like, on the mountain. And he was lowering me down as, as quick as he could. Because otherwise, we wouldn't have made it. And then, and then... I fell and was hanging off the edge of the mountain by the rope and Simon was stuck up there, sat there, waiting for me for about an hour and a half or something like that and then he decided that um, he thought I was dead so he cut the rope and I fell and went through the ice and landed in a crevasse. So do you think that was an easy decision for Simon to make when he knew you were hanging on the end of the rope to, to cut you free and presumably he thought you were dead, he dropped you off the end of the rope and you died? Yeah, well, I did think, what are you doing, Simon? Why are you doing this? But then I did realise if he had to survive, then he had to cut the rope. So it was a good decision. And what happened to you after that then? How did you, you've been cut loose on a rope, you fall into a crevasse, presumably Simon thinks you're dead. Um, how did you, uh, what did you do next? Where did you go? Well, um, I um, slept over it and thought of what to do next. And then all that was around me was, I was in basically in a cave and it was a really steep face up there, so I couldn't climb up there to get back out from where I came. But um, there was a really deep, um, like, kind of like tunnel to another bit of a cave. So the next morning I decided to go down there. And then I saw an entrance out of the cave. Um, so I climbed up that bit and got out. With a broken leg? Yeah. I had to kind of like drag myself, but okay. it was okay. And presumably then Simon had already left and was leaving the mountain and you had to maybe crawl after him. Is that, is that what happened? How did you, how did you reunite, get reunited with Simon? Um, well, it took ages really. But instead of walking, I had to use the equipment that I had um, to dig into the snow and basically pull myself along on the ground. But um, when it got to like the rocks, the rocks near where we were camping, I had to kind of like basically fall over them to get there. And how did you know when you were getting near to where um, the campsite was back at base camp? How did you know that you were nearly back at back at base? Oh well, it's quite a disgusting story. But I basically crawled through the camp's toilet and smelt um, all the muck, and I knew I was near. 
Um, and just final question then, how has your relationship with Simon been since someone who cut you loose and let you fall to your death and then you took four days sort of crawling back from the mountain in a very bad way? Obviously you've survived and you're okay now, but how was your relationship upon meeting Simon? Did you sort of hate him and hold any blame to him? What? How did well, you feel? at the time I was in so much pain I couldn't really say anything, but all I could hear Simon saying to me was... Um, um, like things like, oh, I can't believe you're alive. Um, I love you so much. Stuff like that. So it really made me feel good. And are you back climbing again? Yeah, yeah. Great. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us today. Thanks. Bye.